we have the shop G8 in here now as we are changing up our nitrous setup with the mass airflow being so close to the plate right behind the throttle body. We we're getting turbulence issues uh, when spraying. So we're sending our intake that's coming off, which is that one that still has the fuel rails on it to nitrous outlet. And we're gonna get some spray bars put in it so that we won't have to worry about the distribution issues with the plate being so close to the mass airflow. Since we're swapping intakes anyway, we decided to see on a pretty stout all motor combo what the ported intake, which you can see here, is one of Rick's uh, RCR's old designs, has the pedestals removed and has the bars in it compared to this one that's literally came off a low mileage car in regards to power loss or gains. We did it backwards than normal as we already had the ported one on the car. We made two pulls. Made 550, 520 torque. And the other one was slightly more. Um, but uh, we used the lesser of the two to give uh, an equal chance. And we'll do the same thing to two back-to-backs on the other intake. And get what it does. Uh, I think it was 557 on the other one. So we have an average of 550, 557. A little fat down here, but up top, um, we're pretty good. A little, little fat still, but not bad. Um, so we hope the air fuel should stay pretty close to the same, same timing, and we should be able to see a good back-to-back -back, uh, determination. We're gonna put the stock one on now, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we had some interesting results with the stock intake going back on the car. So like I said, previously it made 550 and we pulled it and it made 550 again. But we looked at the air fuel ratio because we were just making a pull, not thinking it was gonna be way off. And the air fuel was almost 14 to one, which of course is very unsafe. So I added some fuel, quick little uh, fueling change in the tune and made it apples to apples where your air fuel is the same, really close. And as you can see here now, it fell in line, made about seven, six horsepower less. Torque was about the same, but it moved the grass. So the ported RCR intake is the blue line. The stock intake is the red, no timing changes. And air fuel is pretty close. And this is a pretty much max effort motor because these are all motor numbers. Um, and it actually, once we get it dialed in, we're still fat with both, but we wanted the, uh, out, the comparison to be as accurate as possible. So what we found out ended up being the problem was the stock intake was showing less airflow through the engine. This is what your mass airflow, which registers how much fuel it's going to give you per amount of air flowing through it. And it was so much lower that it was making the car run lean. So we had to add fuel via the tune to make everything line back up. So that shows that the uh, ported intake does flow more, but you really need tuning to be able to figure that, finish that up because if you throw a ported intake on your stock car or your stock intake car, it's gonna be very rich everywhere. Um, and you're gonna be losing power because, you know, rich is just not gonna make as much power as being optimized in there. So. Yes, it flows more. Yes, it makes a little more power. The gains aren't huge. So, I mean, is it a cost? Is it worth it to you? I mean, it depends where you're at in your build. Do you have anything you were thinking on it, Dusty? You... No, that's good. Results may vary. I mean, you know, different combinations, we could have something a little bit different going on with the head cam combination. It might like it a little more on other combinations, but, you know, again, it's an, it's an improvement and Yep. You get the big gains with your cam and your stuff like that, and then, then you start spending big money for little gains. So every little bit counts and adds up, and it's yep. definitely better. Yeah, especially above 4,500 to 5. This car has a low, uh, high stall speed converter. You can see it actually comes down and it stalls to about 4,700 with this setup. So these numbers may be slightly skewed from that, but anywhere above 5,200, it picks up. And uh, that does require tuning. You cannot throw, at least the intake we had on here with our setup, 
if you would have ran a ported intake on your stock setup that was tuned for the stock intake, you would be extremely rich everywhere because it's flowing so much more air. Your mass airflow is going to be overcompensate for fuel and you would be rich and probably slow down at the track instead of speed up. So make sure you talk to your tuner, your engine builder to get it dialed in once he swaps or you swap the intake. Thanks again.